Okay, so Phil from Dirty Driveway here again, and we're outside. It's a bit windy today. Uh, doing another video, this time on turbo nozzles. Uh, trying to explain to you how they work. I uh, have here in front of me two different types of nozzle. Um, this one here on my left is a Sutner. German company makes these. And this one on my right is a PA. It's an Italian company. They both work very well. They're both very good quality turbo nozzles. Uh, they come in a wide range of nozzle sizes. I think they start at about 030. They go up to about an 08, perhaps something like that. Um, but for my big washer, I use an 065. This one here is an 065. Can't see, I've lost a little coloured dot out of it. But that's an 065. Um, this one I use on a twin setup, so I have two of these. And these are 035 nozzles. Can't really see too well, but a little hole in there is where the water comes from. So how do they work? They both pretty much work the same way. It's a pencil jet, um, and the end spins really, really, really fast, and it creates a very tough cleaning um, tool. Let's have a look. This is the the Sutner. See if I can focus it in a little bit better. There we go. So if we take this apart, I do use these with an inline filter. Um, they are very susceptible to dirt and grit. Uh, if you get grit in it, it can it can block them up, cause them to stop working. It can wear them out a lot quicker. So this is an 035 Sutner. If we take this out, this one's actually very basic. Inside you have a nozzle. It's got a ceramic tip on the end. Um, this is made of a plastic composite. Again, you have a brass chamber. Inside here, there's a little little groove, a little lip. And right at the very end, you can't really see it because it's a bit dark, but you've got a ceramic tip in the end. And basically, these two coincide with each other. It sits inside there, and what happens is the nozzle spins round in here really really fast the water comes out of two holes you've got either side and they come in at an angle and the pressure makes the little nozzle spin round and round and round and round really really fast so we just pop that back together there are quite a few of these types of nozzles on auction sites um, that are cheap Chinese copies they don't work this is a genuine Sutner. Um, it's stamped on the brass section just in here with the Sutner number. Um, these are about 35 quid for a Sutner. If you put a filter on it on here, they will last quite a long time. If you run these with no filter, you'll probably wear this nozzle out incredibly quickly, especially as it is only an 035 size which means, obviously because I'm running two of them, you have to downgrade the size of the nozzle. And uh, they're very susceptible to grit, particles of sand, all that kind of stuff. So, recommend using a filter. I'll do another video late, later on, showing what the filter is, how it works, how you take it apart to clean it. But that's a Sutner. Probably the best quality turbo nozzle you can get your hands on. But again, watch out for cheap imitations. You probably tell by their price. The genuine one's about £35. Put that to the side. This is a PA turbo nozzle. Again, very good quality. Looks slightly different, but it is fundamentally the same. Again, I use a, the filter. This is on a quarter inch mini quick release, so I can clip it on and off of my lance pretty quickly. And this one, if we open this one up, again, is different inside. They're all very different. It's got a few more moving parts. But again, technically it works on the same principle. You've got a nozzle, ceramic tip. You'll have a ceramic tip at the end of there. It rotates inside the brass chamber. And this works in a different way. The water comes through the two holes 
into this it's like a veined chamber so it works probably similar to a like a, a turbo or something like you'd see on a normal turbo so it's, it's basically spins this round that sits in there and you can see the angle that it would sit at and as this spins you can see the nozzle's not it doesn't go in straight it goes at an angle so that's how that one works just pop that back in there screw that up these normally only have to be done up hand tight so that if you are on a job and you do happen to get a bit of grit stuck in it you can just take it apart and clean it out I've had this nozzle going for three years now I've never never had any problems with it whatsoever and it, I give this nozzle some serious abuse but this is a bigger nozzle this is an 065 nozzle so obviously the hole in the end the nozzle size is a lot bigger so it's not as susceptible to grit and sand as the 035 Sutner is. These PA ones are probably slightly cheaper. I would say you can pick these ones up for around 25-ish. Again, the cheap Chinese copies of these look almost identical. Make sure you buy a genuine PA one. Uh, you will pay extra for an inline filter. Again, they're not expensive. They're seven, eight quid up to 10 quid. Um, plus if you want a mini quick release it'll cost you a few more pound but again they should give you years of life um, a bit of regular maintenance on them that's all you should need you may occasionally if you, you have to take the filter off and give it a clean it's a bit of wire, wire, wire mesh in there really that um, stops the sand and the grit from passing through but like I say I've had this on my lance for three years and it's never once let me down so yeah that's turbo nozzles um, great tool, cheap, effective, I would say probably one of my go-to tools, especially if you're doing block paving, there is a video on YouTube with block paving showing how the turbo nozzle works. So you have it, a Sutner and a PA, both work the same, the Sutner's obviously got less, less parts inside, you can buy the nozzles, they do eventually wear out, they are only ceramic. Um, unfortunately the, the actual nozzle and the, the ceramic insert which which goes in the end here obviously purple denotes the size of it and you'll notice that if you can hear that all turbo nozzles will rattle the Sutner rattles a bit more because it's obviously newer they're supposed to rattle the little little bit in the end spins so it will rattle it will move it's like supposed to move it's supposed to rattle um, so yeah the replacement nozzles for these Sutner's are about 25 quid, whereas a complete new body is about 35. So as long as your body's in good nick, it probably is worth just replacing the nozzle. But in fairness, if I was if I had to replace the nozzle, I'd just replace the entire unit. At least then you know you've got a complete new new setup. But I would not hesitate in using a PA, a little bit cheaper, and it's given me years of trouble-free servicing. So there you have it. But if you need any cleaning work done, we're based in Bromley in Kent. We cover the majority of the Kent area. So give us a call 07585 293 902 or feel free to look at our website for pictures of, of the work we've carried out. It's www.dirtydrive-away.co.uk There's also some more videos on YouTube showing other tips, tricks, block paving, sanding, other bits and pieces that may help you out. So hope you uh, find the video useful, um, please comment if you feel you need to, uh, but enjoy.